Where I think it starts to break down is when Spanish law enforcement decide that instead of talking to Gibraltar law enforcement about the vessel in British Gibraltar territorial waters, they actually decide to try and take executive action themselves. And we, one might say, well, look, hasn't this been the way that it's happened always? They don't respect Gibraltar's jurisdiction. They take these actions anyway. We shouldn't be surprised. Well, frankly, I am always surprised, however many times it happens, because it flies in the face of what is recognized international law and Gibraltar's internationally recognized waters. And you know, under the United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea, there is no question that this is British jurisdiction. It's only Spain that challenges that jurisdiction. Now, in that context, when you're dealing with an incident like this, the information I have is that the officers of the SVA, and again, it's the SVA, if you can look back over your reports, it's very often the SVA that is coming in, trying to assert the fact that we have no waters, that these are Spanish waters, that this is an area where they are in charge. Well, they come in again, and they once again put lives at risk their own lives, the lives of the crew members of the vessel involved, the, the ultimate predator, and the lives of our customs officers involved by behaving in the boorish and improper way that they have behaved. I fear the SVA have dealt a very severe blow to all of the work that has been done by officials in Spain, in Gibraltar, in the United Kingdom, and in Brussels in trying to work together by instead going on a frolic of their own, insisting that they're in Spanish waters when they know that they are in what the rest of the world recognizes and they should recognize it as British waters and not working with their direct counterparts. This is not Guardia Civil or Police working with customs in Gibraltar. This is Spanish customs refusing to work with Gibraltar customs who are doing a job designed to deliver the same result. We may want a treaty, because we have an issue for them and for us with Brexit, but we're not going to roll over if they behave in this way and accept this sort of unacceptable behaviour. But from what you're telling me, you uh, have made the assumption, or perhaps you know more than we do, uh, as to whether the SVA was acting unilaterally or with instruction. If you're asking me whether they were acting unilaterally in the context of a horizontal structure in the Spanish state and whether they had consulted uh, upwards, well, look, I, I can, I'm assured that at uh, 25 past 10 in the evening, when the whole thing began, they didn't pick up the phone and speak to the people who sit across the table from me to ask whether they should do this, which is absolutely foolish and risk their lives, the lives of the people and the ultimate predator and the lives of our customs officers. Because when you're dealing with issues at sea, you're always at risk that things can go wrong. There could be collisions. There was minor damage to the customs launch. All of that you know, creates risk when we're not working together. I am sure that they didn't seek uh, the consent of those who sit across the table from me at that moment. And I'm sure that if anybody brings a cool head to this, they would say, look, guys, uh, as we have all been saying around the table, this is not the way to deal with problems. In my heart of hearts, I'd like to think that those Spanish officials who sit across the table from us, who have been working so hard also to bring about a new reality in cooperation in this area, in particular in law enforcement and the curtailment of criminality in the Straits of Gibraltar and in this area generally, will be equally disappointed by having to deal with their boorish colleagues in the SVA who have brought about this incident, although of course I'm sure they'll never say so publicly. You've uh, asked the UK government, uh, and they've agreed to do so, uh, to uh, protest uh, in Madrid at the highest level. But we know where those protests end up, don't we, in a Spanish special filing cabinet? In exactly the same place where the, the Spanish complaints that we are operating in Spanish waters end up in our special filing cabinet. Uh, but let's be very clear. We're also civilized people. We believe in diplomacy. We don't believe in gunboat diplomacy. We don't think it would help to put the lives of our officers at risk, the lives of Spanish officers at risk, even if they are intent on putting the lives of our people at risk by doing something which is more uh, assertive in the water, which might feel good for two minutes, but which could give rise you know, to, a, to an injury. I mean, I want to say that I think that the agents of the Gibraltar uh, Customs, of HM Customs Gibraltar, who acted uh, on Monday night acted entirely properly. They have my full support and I thank them for the way that they acted, which was reasonable and proportional. The support from the GDP was there as well uh, when we needed it. And so you know, I think Gibraltar 
agencies acted entirely properly. They acted with alacrity and they acted with reasonableness and proportionality. That is not the case about the way that the SVA acted. They acted illegally, they acted improperly, and they acted outside of their jurisdiction.